Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to improve any smartphone you have with Nova Launcher. Now Nova Launcher is a way you can customize your phone to make it look absolutely amazing. This basically changes your entire interface on your home screen and it's the best way to make your phone faster, better, and just more efficient. Um, this is what it looks like, Nova Launcher right here. Now I am a beta tester, that's why it says beta. And then there's also Nova Launcher Prime, which adds a few more features, we'll go over that. And uh, you can also get um, Tesla Unread, uh, which you definitely want. So what does Nova do? Basically Nova allows you to have certain features that may not be available on your version of Android yet, or on this version of Android on this manufacturer but it allows you to have it no matter what. So for instance, the whole force touch thing where you hold down an app and you get um, ability to do things, I've had that feature for years, but you know that only came with Android N last year. So just to give an idea, these features come right away. Basically as soon as Google or any manufacturer thinks up of it, this feature comes to every phone, if you have Nova. You also have the ability to change like your app drawer and stuff like that, change your size, customize your sh uh, how exactly all your icons look. Uh, you also get unread counts, which is what that third app was for. Uh, so I've had this feature again for years. Most versions of Android still don't give you this. So I love that to be able to have that there. And then you can change what are called themes. So you can change the way your entire phone looks on your home screen. Now, if you ever want to have a theme on your phone, all you do is literally search themes and that's it and you can see so many different kind of themes uh, whether you want it to be like a Google theme uh, or if you want it to be like a Samsung theme you can just search for it and then the icons will look like that manufacturer you can make it look like an iPhone too with that so this is how my uh, Nova launcher looks now you can customize this however you want but I have it this way uh, for my current version of Nova and basically the first thing you'll notice is I have the Google search bar here at the bottom, but I have a very different looking one than the one you might have, especially on the new Android Oreo or Android N. I have the G just off to the side and then I permanently have the date here at all times. So that way it's very easy for me to just always see what I have and need. Um, but that way I can always also hit the G and immediately use Google now. The other thing is, is that's permanently on every screen. So I permanently have these five apps and then this right here. Uh, I also have more rows than typically would have an Android. So just to show you, I'm going to do two finger pull down. And this is the normal version of Android that would be on my phone, but I changed that around. So that's a big difference. You also might notice as I switch back, this is actually darkened as to prevent screen burn in on an OLED display. So that's another thing that I love about Nova. They really think of everything. So now that I, as, as, before I go back, I want to point out this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So about six rows, maybe seven even. I think that this phone only goes up to six on normal note. However, if I tap that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight rows here. So it's a lot easier uh, for just having everything on one page for me. Now I have a lot, so I have it on two pages, but it's still very easy. I can also customize with folders. You can see my folders themselves are customized. So I have a circle folder and then four apps right there. So I can see the four main apps that I want. So again, a lot of fine touches that you can do with this kind of feature. Now, uh, what you can also do is do gestures. So as you saw, my two finger pull down makes it so I have it that way. My one finger pull down from anywhere on the screen makes it so that I can pull down and I have the ability to actually get the notification bar. I don't have to, you know, oh, do I have to go all the way to the top? No, I can do it from any part on the screen. Same with the bottom up. I go to my app drawer right away and I customize the way my app drawer looks. I like it transparent, but you can, again, customize it however you want. Um, now you can, I can also do this from the top. So again, I don't need to do uh, exactly in a specific spot. Now, how do you customize all this stuff? So you pinch to zoom and you go into settings and these are Nova settings. And in Nova settings, you can customize all of this kind of stuff. So it's really great and simple and easy. Now, remember when I was talking about those long presses so that if I wanted to uh, long press something, I can make it pop up and have commands. There is another app uh, that I believe is um, a dollar or something along those lines. 
um, that's called Sesame Shortcuts. And thank you to our viewer for letting me know about that. That allows you to customize those. So if you wanna add more function, so like for instance, for navigation, I also have it so that I can go straight to my mom's house. Uh, again, just the ability to do that right away is really nice. Besides homework, I have mom. And you know, um, basically anywhere you visit more often besides just home or work, you can add that to it. Now, the one thing I don't like about, I will say about Nova settings is you can't just, uh, it doesn't stay in there. You have to get to it always with um, the icon. So now here in the desktop, you can see how you can customize the entire grid. You can also have a persistent search bar. So you can have that available as well. You can really customize this however you kind of want to. And this is where I made my search bar the way it is and you can choose where it's gonna go, everything about it basically. So I really like this customization. You can uh, do the padding, uh, height and width. You can again, change the icon layout and you can change how many grids you want. You can also do different kind of scrolling effects. I mean, this is kind of old school, but if you wanna change the scrolling effect, feel free. They have pretty much every scrolling effect ever made. Um, you can also disable the add uh, icon to home screen, so you don't want to do that. And apps and widgets, you can change how the apps look uh, from your app drawer, everything basically is here. So I don't wanna go too much into all the customizations, because you can, I'll just go over a couple things. So the folders, again, you can customize how the folder looks, so if you want transparent, if you want uh, how the um, zoom in and out function is, and then what kind of folder you want, and then what preview you want. So again, you can really change this as much as you want. You also have a night mode that change, that you can schedule so that it starts at a certain time. So whatever you want your uh, night mode to be, you can make it like that. Very simple and easy to do. And what features are darkened at night. So again, with OLEDs, you want it darkened more often. So that's a really good thing to do. Um, besides that, I mean, it really is just a way of customizing your phone in depth, very great looking. And again, once you choose a theme, you can just uh, select a different theme here if you have different ones. So that's where you would change your icons in that style. You can also create adaptive ones. So basically all apps will be the way you want it to be. So you can have all apps be a teardrop, all apps be a square, all apps be a rounded square, squarical, whatever you want it to be you can really change the entire look of your phone. You can also change the uh, speed of your phone. So I usually have a uh, fast um, better than the standard one. So again, this changes how quickly your phone moves. So that's really great too. Again, you can customize all of this stuff and that's what I love about it. It really is your phone. But here's the biggest part that I love about Nova that I, I can't believe people not having this for years and that is backup and import. See, I actually get to keep my entire Nova layout and I never have to change it. So I know a lot of people complain about that and some like Samsung smartphones have this now, uh, but not a lot of other phones that I'm aware of still do. So say if I switch from the Nova uh, or on this phone and now I get a Pixel and now I get a Pixel phone and I want this to look the same, of course, on this phone. Well, with Nova Backup, you can actually back up the entire way your entire home screen looks, and then when you transfer everything to this phone, you just move it over, and that's it. That's it. I love that ability, so it's one really big thing that I love that it has that. So definitely something that everyone should keep that in mind. That's a great feature so that if you transfer from phones, it will keep your exact same homepage. You never have to customize it again it's automatically done. So those are gonna be the big reasons why I love Nova. I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below if you guys have any questions about it. I'll answer some of the comments over the first couple of days. Make sure to check out our mobile weekly show if you have any more in-depth questions that I can answer live. All right, thank you as always for watching. Hope you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you.
or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.